Hello crochet friends, welcome back to Crazy Cool Crochet. This is Sylvia and I cannot tell you how excited I am for this project. This is something really different, unusual, fairly easy. We are repurposing a jean jacket, a denim jacket. And I cut off the sleeves, I'll show you that in a minute, and then added crochet sleeves. How cool is this? What an awesome way to repurpose and recycle an old denim jacket. Now the supplies I'm using is two different ombre yarns or multicolor yarns and there's a little darker blue back here that's kind of hiding and then an accent color. So you'll want to get two different colors for the main portions of the sleeve and then a third color for an accent. The main colors are number five bulky and this one happens to be a number six extra bulky. You can use a, another number five, that's perfect. And then we will also need a regular needle and thread scissors and the hook I'm using is an L or an eight millimeter. So let me show you how we get started with this. Okay, so as you can see, I cut off the sleeve. So as you can see, I cut it so that we still have a reinforced edge. Okay, now I'm going to show you how we are going to create the base so that we can work the crochet stitches, that first row. And I ended up using a regular needle and thread and I doubled up on the thread to give it a little more stability. Now here's the part that might be the biggest pain point of this whole project. So all I did was just start going in and out. Now you want to leave the, the length wide enough for that larger hook to go under. So that looks like about quarter inch. Okay, so then I just went in and out like so. Now here's the part that's going to be important. So as you're going along, don't tighten it. As a matter of fact, leave it as loosely as possible, as loose as possible, because then we're going to come back. So every few stitches, you're going to go under the stitches, under the thread with the needle, and pull it up. See, so you end up with a little loop, because we need to be able to put that hook under there. Okay, so I pull it up. So you can see how the loops are sticking out. Now let me grab the hook just to show you. Okay, now we'll be able to go under there easily. Now after you do that all the way around, we'll come back and start crocheting. For the top portion of the sleeve, closer to the shoulder, I'm using the lighter color. Leave a good size tail. We'll come back and weave that in at the end. Now for your foundation row, going to work right side facing you, insert the hook under that first threaded loop, and we're going to pull the yarn through and do a chain one. Now in the next loop, and if you need to pull it up, we are working loosely for Pretty much this whole project, we're going to work loosely. Okay, so now we're going to enter the hook under that threaded loop for a single crochet. Working loosely. Pull up the next one if you need to. See, so as you can see, as you enter these, the threaded seam, make sure that you leave a good long tail at the end. Don't tie it off. Don't knot it because you still need to be manipulating it. Okay. 
but make sure you're working loosely because we are going to be working with center single crochet or the knit look stitch. So we need room for the hook to go into the center of the single crochet. So keep working all the way around. Now we're back to where we started. So slip stitch into that very first stitch. Chain one. Now we're going to work a single crochet into each space. Loosely. This is important for the next row. The looser stitches are going to help you tremendously. Okay, so just enter a single crochet in each space all the way around. So once again, when you get back to where you started, slip stitch into the first stitch. Now chain one and turn. Okay, now do keep track of the number of stitches. And if you need to, add a stitch marker at your starting point. And I am not going to give you a count because it depends entirely on the size of the jacket, the size of the, the armhole, how many of those beginning stitches you entered with your needle and thread. But just for a rough reference for myself, this is a size medium jacket and I ended up with 41 single crochets. That's just for reference. That does not mean that that's how many single crochets you should have. Okay, now that we've chained one and turned, now we're going to start with the center single crochets. Okay, so this first one will be a little bit difficult to see, so let me just go ahead and do it for myself. Just to move on to the next one so you can see that better. Okay, so now, let's get that thread out of the way. You can see the single crochet right there. We are working into the center of that single crochet. So you, there's the two bars that make it look like a tent. And then there's a bar on top of those two. You're going into the center under that top bar. for a single crochet. Okay, so there's the next one. There's the little tent, there's the bar on top. You're going under that bar on top and into the hole, into the center of the single crochet. Continue to work loosely. And that's all you do all the way around. When you come back around to where you started, slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, turn, and continue. Okay, now I have completed 15 rows in total, and that is counting that very first foundation row. And I'm going to switch over to the next color. So I have started my last single crochet and I'm going to complete it with the next color. And then do your slip stitch, chain one, turn, and continue. Now this entire project is very customizable. If you don't like the center single crochet and you want to use a different stitch, go for it. And you can vary the width of the different colors, the row counts. You can even use different stitches for the different colors. You can really make this your own. Now, the one thing I do want to stay with, and of course you can change this yourself, but I want it to have nice big poofy sleeves. So I'm staying with that row count of 41 for myself on every row, and that keeps the sleeve real wide. And it's not until we get down to the cuff, the ribbing, that will bring it all in. Okay, so now just continue in the pattern. Okay, so here is my 
almost completed sleeve so this is before I add the border and what I want to do is remind you again that this is going to change as needed for you depending on the length that you need the size of the jacket all of this is going to be customized by you as needed so for myself the length before adding the ribbing is 20 inches the ribbing will be about three and a half to four inches so if you need a longer sleeve just add rows as you prefer now I'll give you the counts just as a general information you do not need to stick to the row counts at all do what you prefer and again if you want to switch out the stitches have at it so beginning with the foundation row way up here I did 15 rows of the first color then I did 12 rows of the second color one row of the accent color which by the way I did in double crochets just to switch things up and give it a little more interest and more pop okay so these two bands were the center single crochet then the accent color was a double crochet so all you do is change out your colors and do a double crochet into each stitch so that you're still with the same count remember you're doing the same count for every row then I switched back to the first color and back to the center single crochet now to get started you do need to do that very first row when you come back to that first color just a row of single crochets to get your base row and then you can continue with the center single crochets if that's what you're using and then I did one more row of the accent color and double crochets and then nine rows of the first color now to start to gather the sleeve on the bottom for the ribbing I did one last row of single crochets however the entire row was single crochet decreases so let me show you how I did that I forgot to mention the width for this sleeve is 11 inches wide the circumference would then of course be 22 inches all the way around and that gives me a nice wide sleeve all the way this looks like it's a different stitch count but it's not it's it's all the same it's all the 41 stitches so again if you want a wider sleeve you'll have to start with more stitches in the foundation row or if you want a more narrow sleeve then start with less stitches okay now to prepare the sleeve for the ribbing we're going to start to gather this in and we'll do that by doing a row of all single crochet decreases okay so I did my last row chain one turned and now we're going to work with regular single crochets into the actual spaces not into the single crochets below okay so you enter start the single crochet for two loops on the hook do that again in the next space now you've got three loops on the hook pull through all three and that's a single crochet decrease so now do that again over the next two spaces and do another decrease so that's what you will do all the way around so you just continue so you are decreasing over each two spaces and then we will work on the ribbing when you finish that row of the single crochet decreases tie off the yarn and I'm doing the ribbing with my second color and I've got right side facing me I just insert the hook oh by the way I'm using a smaller hook for the ribbing a J hook or a six millimeter 
So just insert, I usually start at the seam, chain 9. Now, in the second chain from the hook, not counting the loop on the hook, in the second chain, single crochet, regular single crochet, in each chain for eight single crochets. Now as you work this, this is going to be the length of the ribbing. If you want longer, add more chains. Okay, so that was number eight. Now we're going to slip stitch in the next three spaces in what I'm going to call the home row. Okay, so slip stitch one, two, three. Now however many slip stitches you create down here will determine the circumference of the ribbing. You know, I happen to have very tiny wrists, so you might want to just slip stitch into the next two rather than three or even one. Now this will work up fairly quickly, so if you need to rip it out and do it again. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so now I have slip stitched into three spaces. Now turn your work so that that row of single crochets is facing you. Now we're going to work in the back loop only of each single crochet to start the ribbing or create the ribbing. Okay, so you do not chain or anything. You did that last slip stitch, turn this and then start into the first back loop for a single crochet. And do the same in each single crochet across. And then chain one and turn. And then do a row of single crochets in the back loop only again. So eight single crochets. Now you're back on the home row. This is your first space where you're going to slip stitch. Turn, and repeat. So you will do that all the way around. Now when you have come back around, you want to ensure that you enter your last stitches, your last stitch into the home row. You want to be in the home row. Okay, now slip stitch into that first stitch that you started with. Let me tighten that up. Okay, now what you're going to need to do is turn this inside out. So give yourself a lot of room here. Give yourself a nice big loop so you don't lose your stitches. Then turn the sleeve inside out. Now we're just going to slip stitch for a seam. Now I'm working in, as you can see here, the chain. I'm going to work in the loop closest to me. So that will maintain the little ribbing on the right side.
Now I'm going to chain two and then cut it off, cut off the yarn, leaving a tail. And I pull this through, squeeze it down to form a good knot, and then weave. And there you go. There's just one last thing that is entirely optional. So after you're done and you put it on, and if the weight of the sleeve is pulling on that first foundation row, and you don't like the way it looks, you can cover this up. Okay, so with the same color, just do slip stitches all the way around. Okay, you'll hide this, you'll just shove it under there and weave in that tail. Okay, again, working loosely. You don't want to tighten it even more. We're just trying to cover up any gaps. And this is strictly cosmetic. It's not going to give it any more strength. Okay. Oops. So just let me give you an idea of what's happening here. So you can see that it has covered up these gaps. And again, it's just optional. Now, if you want more stability, more strength over here, if you think that those, that first row might not be strong enough with the thinner thread that we worked with, you can come back with a needle and thread and reinforce all of this, that whole row, and then you can add the row of slip stitches to cover all that up. All of that entirely optional. What I forgot to mention earlier is the inspiration for this. So I was actually watching a TV, I think it was a sci-fi show or movie, and this girl walked in wearing the jean jacket with the crocheted sleeves and I just went nutty. <laughs> so I took pictures real quick of the TV <laughs> and I just, I knew I had to try to replicate it. And this is my version. So as always, I do ask that you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this comment down below what you think about this if you're going to give it a try and i thank you guys for watching all the way through and we will see you on the next project